All right, I've decided I'm gonna make a skateboard. Thought I'd bring you along. Um, I started making the stuff with the mold already. I cut two pieces of three quarter inch plywood that I had left over laying around. They are nine and a half by 34 inches. Now I'm cutting two by fours. The mold, the clamp. All right, we've got them cutting pairs. The thread rod to cut. All right, I cut eight pieces of all thread. Get a grinder. It's gonna go right through those. And that's gonna be my skateboard press. And I'm excited. Getting closer. Oh, well, I got this foam insulation from Home Depot. Uh, it's two inches. It's uh, R10. Okay. I'm cut out a piece of it. Get my mold out. To be continued on there. I cut out the shape, contour, the board, glue it up. Getting closer. It's gonna be steep. I got cold on me. But here we are. We're gonna. I laid out the design of the surfboard on here. I marked all the pieces. Laid out the edge, the contour. Get to cutting it out. There's some good videos out there about doing this. I'll link them in the description. There's some actual good videos out there about how to do it.
This is the mold here. Very cut out. We have the veneers stacked in order. Some paper towels, some gloves. Glue. Glue roller that I got off of Amazon for 30 bucks. Drill. This is the clamps I end up making for the press. I'll link some good videos on how to build all this stuff. We're going to try first deck. Just took the uh, clamps off. We're gonna have a look at our deck. See how it turned out. All right, let's check it out. Everything I read online said that this type of press wouldn't be good for maple. I read that after I made the press, but. <laughs> That's some serious concave I put on that. Holy moly. I don't know if you can see that in there. That is some real deal concave. <laughs> that might be a little bit excessive. I'm like skating in a salad bowl. Pretty cool. Let's see when I start cutting it. 
It looks like it did pretty good. Bam. Alright, so. The board's looking pretty cool. But I did make my mold too small. So as you can see right here. It's a little crappy spot. And another tiny one. Right there. The board looks cool. It's a lot of concave. Maybe entirely too much. But we'll see. I'm gonna try and fix that. up the board and use these to attach my clamps Alright, well I bought these as an experiment. These are like knockoff surf skate trucks off of eBay. Now I have Yows and I have Carvers. I just bought these as an experiment to see if these actually work. Because they were only like $48. Uh, sure they're not as good. Uh, you can see in there there's some... I don't know what, but I am going to try them. We'll see. All right, I'm going to drill some holes. I should have done this before I shaped this thing. This is the, what came with the trucks I have to put on. So I made a template of it, put it on here, and I used the punch to punch some little holes. And I'm uh, going to attempt to do this to see how it goes hoping I can use this to try and keep it straight up and down I don't want to cut into that so I'm going to take my drill bit
deck. I brushed this new maple but we have too much concave in it. Painted it. Added these knockoff Yao trucks that I got off of eBay. I'm gonna try it out today. I put this wheel on inside out. That's funny. I have that power for all the snakes. 69 millimeter, 75 A's on there. I haven't ridden this yet. Check it out.